Hi, this is Anne Marie Paquette, Director of Education with the Bosby Heritage Area Association. I'm here with our president, Jennifer Moore, continuing our story about Ashby's Gap here at the corner of three of our counties here in the heritage area. So where we're picking up is in the antebellum era. Um, Jennifer just pointed out, you know, some of the slave coffles that were coming through this area being sold overland between Alexandria, Virginia, all the way to Natchez, Mississippi, and also New Orleans, Louisiana, of course. Now, in 1834, there was a particularly large coffle that came through. And it really gives evidence to some of the things that local landowners are going through here and how it affected the enslaved populations. So of course, uh, Nat Turner's famous rebellion in 1831 had a ripple effect across the South, especially here in Virginia, where all of a sudden it was seen as a potential liability to be housing large numbers of enslaved workers. Um, in addition to that, a lot of the property, especially here in Loudoun County, was beginning to be devalued. Now we have second and third generations farming here, and a lot of the soil has been you know, drawn down, it's not producing the same way that it used to, and so once again, a lot of enslaved workers find themselves being put out of home, being taken to Alexandria, and then being sold south. Um, so you can imagine that coming along the Little River Turnpike between Alexandria to Aldi and then also from Aldi to this point on foot on the new turnpike system. And then again, walking on foot down the new Valley Turnpike, which is being built in the 1830s. Um, so they're seeing this landscape, the same landscape that we see today coming through our historic villages, passing under the shadow of the fine plantation home at Bell Grove. Um, it's a very different perspective, maybe one that, than what we're used to. Um, but of course, this becomes a highway to war and not too long later. <laughs> a hotbed of rebel activity. Um, of course, one of our most famous participants being John Singleton Mosby, for whom our organization is named, um, and they spent innumerable hours trekking up and down this turnpike and in and out of Ashby's Gap while they are raiding on Union supply lines. In fact, to my left here down the Crooked Run Valley are a number of Mosby's Rangers safe houses, including Mount Bleak, which is just a short distance from here. It's the modern Sky Meadow State Park. Um, the land was donated by Paul Mellon. Um, so we see a lot of these areas preserved by Civil War history, which brings us to the 20th century. So the Ashby's Gap Turnpike itself was officially assumed by the Commonwealth of Virginia in 1922 as State Route 50, which is what we know it as today. It went on until 1957 on more or less the same road tra trace until again the speed limits were increased and the road was widened in 1957 and also saw at that time the close of the Goose Creek Bridge. So what I like to tell people is as you drive Route 50 today, with your eyes follow the stone walls that run uh, more or less alongside Route 50. And as you're watching with your eyes, you might see the stone wall sort of veer off one way or the other away from where you're driving today. And that will show you the original roadbed um, as the Ashby's Gap Turnpike. And in a lot of cases, these stone walls were built along the Ashby's Gap Turnpike by the farmers or their enslaved workforce to keep the livestock that was being driven to market out of their planted fields. So a feature that is so indicative of hunt country out here, particularly between Ollie to the Shenandoah River, actually was a turnpike feature. So a wonderful part of this history, you drive it every day and don't think much of it, but the Ashby's Gap Turnpike and the stone walls are an enormous part of our transportation history and our agricultural history here in the heritage area. Please keep following us along. Again, we're going to be posting new video content every single day that schools are closed, helping to get you guys still plugged into local history and our local sites. Please join us again.